Hello guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to integrate a sign up form or up end form into a squeeze page. So in this case my squeeze page is being done by Elementor plugin. So if you look at the screen right now, this is the squeeze page which I've done using Elementor plugin. So if you want to have this squeeze page you can look up for my another video to download the squeeze page templates all right so in this case i'm going to use mail poet uh, version number two to integrate a sign up form because it is a free email marketing software to use if you try to look at my plugins in my wordpress dashboard i've uh, downloaded mail poet 2 and elementor so just a reminder that if you use mail poet version 3 you're unable to send automated welcome email uh, to those newly captured subscribers because you need to upgrade into a uh, better version by paying some money so in this case I'm going to use MailPoet 2 and Elementor so right now I'm going to show you when people try to uh, subscribe to your squeeze page for example this squeeze page which are looking right now on the screen so when people enter their name so this is a sign form integrated with mail poet so when people subscribe to your squeeze page uh, let's try to look at my uh, email so this subscriber will get a uh, confirmation subscription where they have to click to confirm so when people click to confirm your subscriptions a welcome email will be sent to that subscriber they will get this solo ads campaign handbook and the email templates as a gift or link magnet in exchange with the uh, email address information so you can see that i have uh, received the handbook which is the solo ads campaign handbook and the subscriber were able to download it so i'm going to teach you how to do that with all free version plugins where you don't have to pay anything at all all right so right now let's go back to here so if you still haven't downloaded this squeeze page template you can go to the link below and check out my second video of this elemental tutorial to download the squeeze page templates all right so once you have downloaded the squeeze page templates with elementor you can straight ahead go to edit with elementor you have the uh, elements on the left hand side just click here and you'll see title I just don't put anything because I already have the title on top just go to here so these are my subscription form which is integrated with mail poet so if you go back to the dashboard and try to scroll down you will see you will see a mail poet subscription form at here so this is how elemental able to communicate with uh, mail poet so when you have all this subscription form you can just directly put it and just drop it in one of the sections which you prefer and from there you can just click on which form to choose so it's that easy but before that you need to create a list a subscription form a newsletter with mail poet so right now let's delete this thing first oh god so we're gonna leave this behind first let's go to our mail poet plugin so once you have downloaded and installed the mail poet version number two and the first thing you need to do is to create an email list or we call it subscribers list a list where email address information are being stored or collected okay so just go to mail poet go to subscribers from here you can see all the lists that I have then go here this are the list uh, marketing action probably well, I didn't do much on the email marketing stuff so, so if you just install it it's probably nothing over here just click add list just put whatever name you want it I'm gonna put something like this description just for your own use click add list so done you have basically create a new list which is called email marketing test so once you're done creating a list 
you have to go to settings so settings is where you're going to create your own sign up form so these are the basic information you can just look up later on so the most important part is to go to the forms over here let's create a new form so once you have entered this part this is where you can add in new fields so for example this one this is where uh, people have to enter their email address so my advice is always better to put the first name into this uh, sign up form so asking them to put in their name as well so you can just display label within the input so the sign up form will be much uh, smaller put in your name for example like this you can just write whatever you want for this name it can be mandatory or non just up to you click done this one as well edit display put in email your email that addressed display label within input so this one you can edit as well instead of using the word subscribe you can say download now like now download it now so once you've done on the subscription form you can see this phrase it says this form adds subscribers to these lists so you can just put whatever list you have just created so this is the one that I've created just now of course this form is specifically for this list so I'm going to use this list so when people submit that information they will see this thing or you can just change it you can say great to have you something like that you can just do whatever you want and click saved your form has been saved you can edit blah so let's just hold it on first and go back to setting and just look at our forms ah, this one so the form which I've created is this one so right now I'm going to teach you how to create an automatic email newsletter okay so just go to newsletter and go to create a new email from here tick on automatic newsletter so it will automatically send when someone is subscribed to the list which is this one that we have created just now immediately you can just put a few hours later but usually because when someone subscribed to you they, they would expect an immediate email all right so this is the subject headline something like this a gift for you so as usual these are the uh, interface where you can just put whatever you want so there are lots of stuff over here I'm gonna just so this is kind of uh, spontaneous I just want to show you this email will be sent to that newly captured subscriber immediately all right here is the gift for you click here to download link so if you have the download link you can just embed the link over here okay so I'm gonna leave this behind first and let's go to the next step so basically these are the summary gift for you which is this email subject headline it will send to this list immediately when someone subscribe to that list so sender you can just put in your name and the email of yourself or your company email blah 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 let's click activate now so done so this is the welcoming mail which will be sent automatically so let's go back to the elementor squeeze page okay let's double click it first let's go to this up in form or sign up forms click here let's see whether I have the form which I created just now which is this one new form so just click here so done you have automatically integrate the sign up form which you have built uh, using MailPoet into this squeeze page which is being done by Elementor so quickly you can click saved and let's try to do some testing all right so just click exit and go to view page let's try to open 
in incognito window. It's kind of slow, isn't it? All right, so let's try to do some testing. My name, try my, another email address. Yep, did you see this word which I uh, typed just now? I'm great to have you subscribe to us. So you can see this is the confirmation email. I'm going to click confirm first, then the welcome email will be sent automatically. So let's wait for my email. It should be arrived at any minute. So it seems to be here, right here. Gift for you, which is the one that I've created just now. Let's click here. See, this is the welcome email, which will be sent automatically where you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is to create a squeeze page using Elementor and integrate the form with MailPoet so you can get ready to capture subscribers. So if you have any questions on how to download the templates, on how to integrate the form or how to use the MailPoet as your email marketing autoresponder, please drop me a comment below. I'll try my best to answer all these questions. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.